During these early builds, I've wanted to do different cars. What's more different than the BMW X6? Why is this in the game? We needed a Mandem car. And honestly, I think that's what Ghost's mindset was. We needed the, the big rich man. Okay, let's be fair. If you're part of the Mandem or the ro you're a road man, I don't particularly know exactly how you're going to afford this. I mean, BMW finance is quite good nowadays. But anyway, the X6. Personally, I've got to say, I think the X5 would have been a better choice. But the X6 is more of the sporty coupe version. So I guess I kind of get it because it needs to be, it needs to be used in races. It's going to be so weird seeing this in races alongside a Skyline, alongside something sporty. Because this is a big SUV, if you hadn't really realized. It's it's just, I don't imagine this thing keeping up very well. But at the same time, I definitely could see it because it's Need for Speed. You could upgrade this. So, both customization-wise, there's quite a lot of parts available to this car. Uh, I was surprised at how many parts are available. I, I didn't think, how, like, I wasn't sure how much you could actually customize the BMW X6 because it's just, it's an SUV. It's a big SUV. When it came to the wings, it was a little bit awkward. For example, we had some really tall ones that I don't necessarily think suited this car. And the blacked out lights made it, I don't know, I think it made the wing a little bit weirder. So I just went with, like, the normal duct tail that goes off the top of the roof. It's probably one of the best options to go with. And as you can see with the arches, I wanted to go with black. Now, I don't think it's suits it in this blue. This blue is beautiful. If I got one of these cars, I'd probably make it white. But this is a Mandem build. This is this is what my vision of the Mandem would be driving. Plus, I'm going to put neons and stuff on it because I don't particularly think it would... I, I mean, I don't want to put it to waste, all right? Neons would be great. So, license plate, can you, can you imagine what I'm going to put? That's right. It's time for the Mandem. <laughs> Uh, you, there's so many, there's still gonna be so many references in this game, and they're just actually in this game. I, I think the house should have just been renamed to the Mandeb. That's exactly what I see them as. Anyway, they're, they're like big brutes that try and kill you, and it's exactly what the, the roadman would be in London. Would just big brute that's trying to kill you in his big puffer jacket. Anyway, so I blacked it out. I don't normally, normally black out cars, as I said, but I, that's the style of the build I was going for. I also, again, wish I had the front light customizations available on this. Again, if you don't know, if you haven't been following the other videos, I didn't have them unlocked. I didn't have everything unlocked to customize because... Well, I'm not very good. <laughs> no, I just didn't. I had limited time, so I didn't necessarily want to spend it unlocking those. But I, the, for, one other thing is... With some of the older BMWs, when you paint the car, the, the actual outside of the grill goes that color, and the inside is black. On this car, it stays chrome, and I wish you could actually change that. I would love to have a fully blacked out grill. On, if, if it is a basic option on the Audis and the BMWs, that should be an option. I, I think every single person that buys an Audi or BMW these days blacks out the front grill. That's one of the first things they do or gets a new grill to do that. Because, come on, let's be honest, Audi know it, BMW know it, so they sell you a chrome grill and give you a 20 grand option to make it black. The black edition. You, you know exactly that they both do that. But I'm so glad this is in the game. I would have liked to see some Audi SUVs put in here as well to have like a balance of the two because there aren't particularly that many SUVs. There's like this and there's kind of off-roady vehicles. I mean, this is... I would use this off-road. I wouldn't use this on the road. That's... that. It's, it's, let's be clear. It's an SUV. It should be used off-road. But I, I would like to take uh, multiple, you know, big name brand SUVs and like even like they're having a, a, a Jaguar F-Pace. F-Pace would be fantastic to throw because it's not in any game and if it is, I, I, I want it in Need for Speed. What's wrong with that? But having like the big trio or more of SUVs to go against each other, you can have an SUV racing online specifically designed for SUVs. It would be like a big demo derby with massive SUVs. What could go wrong? Now, sticker-wise, I didn't want to do too much of this because, come on, it's a, it's a clean, smooth Mandem build. So I just wanted to put a few stickers on it that wouldn't particularly take away from the fact that it is definitely a car that if you get pulled over by, he will definitely probably try and kill you. So what better than putting a big Famalam sticker? I mean, it's, I put a little one on it. Didn't want to overdo it with the stickers because I said it's got to be nice and stealthy. Uh, another co cool idea would be something to do with the badges in the future game. Maybe removing the badges completely, as in like the extra badges 
or blacking them out as I said I don't think blacking them out would be too much work but how would you do that would it would it just be like a switch option that lets you you know choose which part you want or would it be on the customization because if it gets to the point where there's too many customization points around the car it might be a bit crazy and especially if it's just change the emblem to black it would be a bit obnoxious I think so we've got to think of a way maybe we can have like a, a checkbox and it's black edition it blacks out the grill blacks out the badges I think that'll be a, a pretty cool idea, don't you? I, I do kind of regret slamming it as much as I did. I, I kind of would have liked it to be taller. Because if you look at it, it's like cambering and it looks a little bit silly. It's an SUV. It should not be cambering. Red underglow to give you that little bit of an evil feel. I almost feel like I've built the cars that come after you on the, uh, the highway heist event. It, it looks like I've just basically built those, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Anyway, I'm really happy with how the build turned out. I wish I could have made the tires blacker. <laughs> if that's even bloody possible. Uh, if it's not Ghost, you should make that a thing. Also, I feel like the wheels on this thing, the, the, the tires, the, the width is really small. You'd think it would be a massive for an SUV, but I don't, I've never seen an X6. I mean, I've never looked underneath an X6, so I can't see how wide it is or how thick it is, if you know what I mean. But that was the BMW X6. Wanted to bring you that because it was very, very different compared to pretty much everything we've done so far and everything else that's available in the game. So let me know what you think. Are you glad SUVs are returning to Need for Speed? Do you want to see more of them? What SUVs do you want to see return to the game? Let me know down in the comments. But I am excited because we are now closing in on the date when hopefully soon we'll be having the game and showing you absolutely everything together. I'm so excited. Anyway, be sure to smash like, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you guys in the next video. Until next time. Peace.